All righty, so we're back here uh, with my 2011 uh, Zero S, and I uh, posted a video a couple of days ago. Um, I was having a problem. Uh, actually, I can demonstrate the problem right here. I'm going to turn the key on. Uh, everything's going to start normally. You hear the solenoid, the fan, startup procedure. Okay, but when you when you give a throttle, I have my throttle off here. When you give a throttle, I get this is full throttle. I get 11 kilometers per hour. So, and you could actually stop that with your hand if you wanted to. Um, so what we're going to do here. I've actually found the issue, and uh, while I've owned this motorcycle since new, um, so um, I've owned it five years, well, four years now, really, um, and I've had a couple of issues. Uh, this particular issue came up once, and then it went away, um, and towards the, the uh, last time that I had this issue this past summer, uh, the bike is actually just cut out and uh, nothing, I mean, uh, nothing on the dash. You have to turn the key off and then turn it back on. You could even do it while the bike is rolling um, and then it'll, it'll start working again, and which can be quite annoying. I've, I've actually read of a few instances, quite a few instances of that happening uh, online. Other people have uh, recounted their, their stories. I, you know, just, uh, just to say I love the bike, uh, but I found the reason why my bike wasn't working well, and I hope that uh, it can help other people. Uh, so, what it turns out to be is the solenoid, simply the solenoid from day one. I've got uh, I've got 4,500 uh, 4, clicks on the bike, and not that much, but it turns out the solenoid is bad. And as I say, I suspect it's the reason why you know I've had problems with the bike in the past. Not a very expensive component, but one thing, the solenoid is rated to 200 amps. And because this motorcycle isn't fitted with a capacitor or condenser to take the load, um, when you turn the key on, uh, it arcs on, on the points of the, uh, the solenoid. So the solenoid really doesn't have a chance. So what I've done is I've ordered a 400 amp solenoid instead of this 200 amp, uh, obviously with a 48 volt coil. And I've read of um, uh, somebody else who had a similar, similar issue uh, who put in the 400 amp coil, uh, 400 amp solenoid, and never had a problem. So I'm going to demonstrate how I actually identified the solenoid as the culprit. Um, so what I'm going to do, uh, first off the bat, I'm just going to do a simple uh, voltage analysis under power. Uh, so I've got a friend here to help me. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the throttle to full speed uh, and then measure the voltage across the solenoid. Um, so we're going to measure the voltage on the feed side, so the battery side, and then the output side, the side going to the all tracks controller. Um, so I'm going to take my tester here, trusty tester, I'm going to switch it on to DC volts, like so, and we can watch it. Okay, now I'm going to pass the camera, which happens to be my phone, to my buddy here. So I'll give you this solenoid, this uh, lead right there. You can connect that right up to the negative. Okay, and we'll. We'll focus in on the screen there. Okay, good. Now, I'm going to give it the beans, which is a maximum of uh, about 11 kilometers per hour. They've got 57.9 volts on the feed side. And then we've got, oops, if you could read the screen there, we've got 40 volts on the output side. That's not very good, so I'm going to let go of the throttle. And now, I've got a piece of uh, house wire here that I'm going to use as a, uh, just a jumper. Make sure, uh, first of all, I don't recommend to do any of this at home, but 
if you are, make sure that the key switch is on uh, before you try this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump the two sides of the solenoid. I'm going to grab the throttle here. And let's take a look at that rear wheel. As you can see, it works just fine. So that's basically it. The solenoid is the problem. And um, hopefully the uh, 400 amp solenoid that, uh, that I've ordered uh, will cure this issue. And I'll do many, many, many more thousand kilometers on this bike, which I really like. Um, I'm going to post another video as soon as I've put the solenoid in and everything's running normally. But uh, if you have any questions, you can go ahead and ask me. Anyway, have a great evening. Cheers.